Hello, in this video it's going to be a quick one or quickish. I'm going to show you how to improve your performance on the Suyu emulator. If you don't know how to set it up, feel free to check out my video down below but how to get the best performance out of it. And on your ROG Alloy and ROG Alloy X, and this you know is applicable for all the devices as well. You know, there's a lot of crossover, but this you know really is to get the best performance on this particular device. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you it working. This, this is a default setting with Super Mario Wonder, a game that is obviously, you know, new and intensive <laughs> in terms of the requirements. As you can see, we're getting a lot of frame drops, and it's not experience that I would, you know, like to play. I'm just going to literally just blast through the level just, just to get you a vibe of what the performance is like. Yeah, this is just not an enjoyable experience. I wouldn't want to play like this. I understand if there's some frame drops, especially with emulation of such a you know a new system in comparison to obviously like PlayStation 2 on a device which is powerful but not super powerful. But yeah, I just wouldn't you know want to play it. So um you know just for testing purposes, I'm going to complete it. And obviously, if you don't know, there's frame rates down there, but you're seeing them drop all the time, even as low as like the twenties. And it's not just the average that matters, it's the drops, because that's what you feel, is the lows. Okay, done that now, fantastic. I'm going to... Just exit the game. I have found this with the emulator, like when you're trying to close games, I just, I'm just always having problems with it. Like it's always wanting to, it's always messing up to be honest. Okay, uh, we can ignore that. Okay, so I've got my mouse connected, and so if we open up, before we even open up to you, the first thing we want to do is if I focus on my device, of the two right buttons you have this, you know to the right of the screen there's on the bottom one click that that opens up the asus armory crate and in here there's one more setting that we want to change to help improve performance you want to go to settings you want to go to performance gpu settings select memory assigned to gpu to auto it might be set to 4 gig by default you know for example but set it to auto if you like, change it will ask you to restart so just bear that in mind so you know go to auto we can close this down i mean there's some other stuff that you can do like overclock the gpu or, you know, again that's more enthusiast i might do on a separate video but for now this is you know all you'll need the other thing to note is you should always be doing this anyway in the command center make sure you have turbo mode selected you don't want silent you don't want performance you want turbo and you want cpu boost as well so you know you want those few things on next thing what you want to do is actually ooh, drop the mouse <laughs> you want to you want to launch up the emulator And for me, I put it on my SD card, application, see you, scroll down. There's the application right there. And you want to go to emulation, configure. So there's a few settings that we just want to change. In graphics, one, make sure you selected Vulkan, not OpenGL. That should be default, but just in case it isn't, or if you've changed it. Here where it says resolution, you want to change this down to 0.5x. So this will lower the resolution from 720p for handheld to 360p, from 1080p dock to 540p. But if you go down to here, window adapting filter and select this, select AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, also known as AMD FSR for short. So this will actually upscale it now and it'll look pretty close and look really good even though the resolution is downscaled. So that helps with it. You know performance and this fsr sharpness i'll let you experiment with this this is just how you know sharp it looks just to tweak the overall end image not performance 
So if you like, oh, I want to tweak, you know, feel free to, you know, go here and change it. That's really all you need to do in the settings. And the other thing is, you know, memory, you know, layout. So we can increase this, you know, from four gig to something like eight gig as well. So I would, you know, recommend, you know, try four gig, see how that works. If you still want a bit more performance, then go to six or eight gig and, you know, you might get crashes, you might get problems if you do just lower it down to 4 gig again. So if I do 8 gig, launch up the game. So as you can see, it didn't launch up. And that is, you know, like, you're probably going to have more issues with that 8 gig option. So just bear that in mind. But... There are 13 games like Super Mario Wonder that can benefit from it, you know, a bit more. Because we've got the auto setting on, it should be good. But like I say, if you've got a lot of crashes, change it, to, you know, back down to 4 gig. Or even try it 6 gig. And, and there's a couple last things that we're going to do now whilst the emulator is running in-game to get the best performance. Let me just load up the level. Okay, so... What you want to do here, where it says hi, click that, change it to no normal. That's GPU accuracy. Hi will get you the most you know accurate sort of representation of what it should be like, but it's it, you know he has a hit on FPS on performance. Try normal. If you have any few issues, you know, let's say you're in artifacts or problems with the image, then change it to high. But a lot of games you can get away with normal and you get better performance. Next. Uh, you want to change docked, click that, change it to handheld. So you're at that lower resolution. But again, 720p natively on this small screen, regardless of what the native resolution of the Asus ROG Ally X is, is still very good. And it still looks fine. And because we've downscaled it, but then upscaled it using AMD FSR, you, we get better performance. And that's it. That's all we needed to do. I'm going to change this to, yep, yeah, we're on gamepad mode. And that's it. Let's see what the performance is like now. So remember, before we were getting so many drop frames, and don't get me wrong, this is not like smooth 60 all the time, but this is like the drops are not like just halting it to a standstill. So before they was like he was going slow motion mode, and as you can see, we're getting really good frames, and I'm moving around fast, so I'm not even like moving around slower than I was, and it's working really, really well. Okay, I will select this going to this world because this is usually a bit more intense anyway on the hardware. So we can really test this out. Plus one that. I messed up there. I do want to get to the top. Oh yeah! And you can see that performance. Oh my god, significantly better. And so yeah, this is how to get the best performance out of the CU emulator. Like I said, it's applicable for most devices. You know, you can take a lot of the principles that I've shown you in here. But feel free to experiment. But if there's a specific device that you want me to test, let me know. If I've got it, you know, I'll test it. Uh, you know, out. And if you'd like to support this channel. Patreon page is coming very soon where you know you can support me. You're gonna get a few goodies like exclusive chat, there'll be a WhatsApp chat on, on one of the packages as well, so you can get all of the best support, you know, ever. Plus you're gonna get exclusive videos with all of that, you know, emulation, you know, good stuff that you know we cannot show you on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, down comment down below what other videos you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.